Pastor Jerome Fernando is a man after God's heart, whom the Lord has separated and chosen to accomplish his mighty work here on earth. Being the senior pastor of King's Revival Church, Sri Lanka, the Lord has entrusted him with one of the largest growing churches in Colombo, with over 3,500 men, women and children. In his relentless quest of spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ, Pastor Jerome has left himself pliable to the mighty hands of God. And through him the Lord has brought healing to the sick, deliverance to the burdened, and freedom to the oppressed. The Lord has expanded his ministry internationally by bringing thousands to gatherings organized and held in countries worldwide, and most recently, globally via God TV Media. In order to spread the truth of the gospel more effectively with the guidance of the Holy Spirit, this year Faith Food was launched in order to further edify and encourage people of God, bringing an anointed message from the throne room of God once a week. Thank you for joining me once again on Faith Food. I hope you're enjoying these videos. God bless you. Uh, today, we're going to begin at Genesis chapter 6, verse 19 through verse number 22. 19 through 22, Genesis chapter 6. God speaking to Noah, and he says these words, Of every living thing, of all flesh, two of every sort shall thou bring into the ark, to keep them alive with thee. They shall be male and female. Of fowls after their kind, and of cattle after their kind, of every creeping thing of the earth after his kind, two of every sort shall come unto thee to keep them alive. All of these animals, two of every kind. Wow. And in sevens also, shall come unto thee. They will all come to you to keep them alive. And take thou unto thee of all food that is eaten, and thou shalt gather it to thee, and it shall be for food for thee and for them. Thus did Noah according to all that God had commanded him, so did he. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to talk to you today in a few minutes, just in through these few minutes we have together, about the power of God's favor on your life. When God's favor is on an individual, the Bible says these were times when the Lord wanted to destroy the whole earth. He repented that he had made man. But the scripture says in the same breath that Nova found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Grace. When God looked at Nova, he said, this is a man that I can do something with. He is not like others. You see, when God saw Nova, he saw, I can start a new beginning with this man. That's called favor. That's called favor. The angel came to Mary and said, Mary, you are highly favored, highly favored above all other women or among all other women. You are highly favored, Mary. When you are favored, God will give you an assignment that he will not give others. When you are favored, God will entrust to you what he will not trust others to do. That was what he asked Noah. He said, Noah, build an ark because I'm going to start all over with you. But as Noah began to build the ark, um, the day came for the flood waters to hit the earth. And Noah had completed everything. And God speaks to Noah and he says, Noah, two by two, in sevens, they will come. They will come. These animals will come to you. You must keep them alive. You see, ladies and gentlemen, those of you who are watching through Faith Food, when God's favor rested on Noah, the favor of God on Noah is what caused even animals to be kept alive, including Noah's family. Noah's family was alive. The animals were kept alive. Noah was kept alive. All because of not a majority, but actually a minority, just one man. You see, this is why it's important that 
whoever whom ever you are following your pastoral team and leadership and um if you're the head of the house uh, you need to carry god's favor because everybody around you um they'll be protected kept alive through the favor of god on your life but what i want to show you today is more than that the bible emphatically says two of every sort shall come to you they will come to you noah noah you will be a magnet that draws two by two and sevens they will come you don't have to see if noah was to go and bring two by two of all the fowls of the air god would have had to give noah wings because noah would have had to fly but noah didn't do that noah had to just wait in the ark and god's favor on noah caused all of these animals to be drawn towards him drawn towards the ark the animals could have gone anywhere but they were drawn to noah ladies and gentlemen when the favor of god is on your life this is how blessing is drawn it is not drawn to everybody not a lot of people have the ability to draw a blessing towards themselves draw favor is the power to draw into your life jesus turned water into wine and when he filled told those servants fill these jars with water after they filled it jesus says draw it now draw it out now pull it out now beloved people of god they drew out something different to what actually went in the power to draw the power to draw when jesus walked multitudes drew to him that's favor beloved favor 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 have you been having trouble attracting the blessing of god in your life it could be because there's no power to draw when you become a magnet through god's favor money will just come health will just come like a moth to a flame it will just come beloved if you are unmarried out of nowhere your life partner will come face to face you cannot stop it you will be a power to draw such blessings into your life how does it happen favor of god favor of god the job will come looking for you this is in the new testament also jesus said if you seek the kingdom first everything else will be added to you so that means there this this whatever god has prepared it will come to you noah didn't have to go to the animals the animals came to noah everything god has prepared and planned for your life will come to you for that you have to be a magnet you become a spiritual magnet for god's blessing when you come under the favor of god How do you come under the favor of God? Walk with God like no other man on this earth. Bible says Noah walked with God. Hallelujah. Noah was a righteous man and he walked with the Lord. I leave this challenge with you today. If you are not seeing many exciting things in your life and you're not drawing such favor and grace from this moment on, may you carry the divine favor of God and as those animals drew to noah it was time for him to depart time for him to launch i believe it's time for you to launch in your greatest days and may the drawing power of god be upon you so that all the applications you have sent jobs will begin to come your way your life partner will begin to come your way finances will begin to come your way health will spring forth in your life but you must walk with god walk that righteous life walk with the lord favor will increase you will become a magnet to attract the blessing and no one will be able to stop it meditate on this memorize what i've shared share it with others and continue to tune in to another faithful video next thursday at the same time be a magnet for god's blessing god bless you may the favor of god rest upon you and bring all things into your life every blessing may he pour out into your life in jesus mighty name amen and